Carolina Connection Game Highlights, brought to you by Verizon. Renner will set up in the shotgun. He has Bernard to his left. Shotgun snap to Renner, quickly throws out to Ebron, catches it at the 15, breaks a tackle to the 20, has the first down over the 25, is in at the quarterback spot for the Tar Heels. He gets the shotgun snap, hands off to Bernard. He'll flip it to Renner, deep down the field. Highsmith has it at the 35 in the pack. First down, Carolina, a trick play and a big play, right off the bat for the Heels. Well, a lot of people speculated this week that Larry Fedora and Blake Anderson would have some special plays for NC State. Only took them two plays to put both quarterbacks in the game and a nice throwback deep ball. 41 yards on the play. Renner in the shotgun with Bernard to his left. Now will ease up. Ebron and also Jack Tab, two tight ends on the far end of the line as heels go right to left. Highsmith and Quinshot Davis set up to the near side. Renner will get the snap, sprint out near side, complete the pass, Quinshot Davis at the 10. He's tackled there for another first down. Justin Burris, nickelback for State, made the tackle. Renner in the shotgun, hands off to Bernard. Bernard to the five, Bernard to the end zone for six. Carolina marches down the field. Six plays, 85 yards and a touchdown. Six nothing, Carolina, the extra point on the way. And Rick, at no point did State stop Carolina during that drive. Well, the extra emotion in a rivalry game, coaches like to say it only lasts about five minutes and then it comes down to execution. Well, on that opening drive, Carolina took great advantage of the extra emotion, being very aggressive, being very physical, and as you said, marching right down the field to open this game. Glennon will start off under center with one man behind him. It's Creasy, and he gets nothing on the handoff. Third down for NC State. Glennon in the shotgun. Here comes Ebron on the screen. He dumps it off to Palmer, and he's tackled well short of the first down by Jabari Price. Made the hit at the 21, and Ebron, part of, the, part of the group that put some pressure on Mike Lennon. And you saw why Carolina had Eric Ebron on the field. He's played so little defense in his life. He looked uncomfortable out there, but it took him a minute to gain his footing, and then he just shot out of a cannon. So the heel's going right to left. Renner hands off to Bernard, near side at the 50, into state territory, near the first down. He's at the Wolfpack 45. It'll be a yard shy, but nine yards on the first down run. Second and one, Carolina up 7-0. Renner to Bernard, he'll try the reverse, flip it to Highsmith, he puts his foot in the ground and he's heading down the field. Highsmith at the 10, he's at the five, and did he make it or not? No signal. Yes, touchdown, Carolina. Whoa, baby, what a start for the Tar Heels. 13-0, four minutes gone by. Great decision by Eric Heisman. NC State had two players to the outside where that reverse was designed to go. As you said, Jones, he just put his foot in the ground and ran right behind All-American offensive guard Jonathan Cooper downfield very quickly. Glennon will just drop straight back. He'll throw it in the flat near side to Mario Carter. Carter lost the football, but the line judge, Jack Wyland, comes up to say that Carter was down. Jabari Price, the man who took him off his pins. The Carolina crowd kind of groans, and now the officials are going to stop the clock and take another look. All right, that's a great play for Carolina, don't get me wrong. But if I'm Jeff Schottmer, I'm going to be sick tomorrow because that means I had a touchdown that was negated by a quick whistle. Third down, third and eight. Shotgun snap to Renner. Lots of time over the middle. Ebron first down at the 10, knocked down at the 6. Carolina six yards away from another touchdown. Carolina still going with the jumbo set, trying to pull him back. Big boy football here, Renner, Bernard, big boy touchdown. Carolina into the end zone to make it 24 to seven with the extra point on the way. 124 to go first quarter and so far this one is all Tar Heels. Carter and Underwood to the far, Glennon will just drop straight back, he dropped the football, picks it back up, he's sandwiched, and loses the ball. Who fell on it? Back at the 20. We'll wait and see. I think it's going to be State. Rob Crisp landed on the fumble ball. So State will have it. State facing a third and 23. 
Shotgun snap. Glennon sprints out to the far side. Going to go deep all alone. Caught, and that's going to go for a touchdown to Tobias Palmer. 83 yards. How in the world did the Heels lose him? And Glennon ready for the shotgun snap. He just stands there and intercepted. Off the hands of his receiver, Smith, picked off by Gary and Rankin. Rankin gets it out to the 44. There's something positive for Carolina. And off to Blue. Blue into the secondary. He's at the state 40, over the 35. All the way down to the state 33. Quick shotgun handoff to Blue. Gains 23 yards. Screen to Bernard, breaks a tackle, he's at the 30, cuts up the field, Gio's at the 40, Gio to the 50, and finally pushed down from behind into state territory. Carolina gets the big gain on first down. Bernard is still down on the NC State sideline, holding his right ankle. Carolina quickly up to the line of scrimmage, shotgun snap, Renner quick screen to Highsmith at the 40, has some blockers in front of him, and will be out of bounds, let's see, at the 31, and he does have a first down. Shotgun snap, Renner whips it, Quinshot Davis catches at the 10 and loses the football, has it ripped away by C.J. Wilson. Wilson returning it up the field far side, flags are down. Wilson's at the 35 and down to the 38. As a handoff in the backfield, and Sylvester Williams nearly received the handoff. He took Washington down as soon as he got the football. Back at the 14. Her heels down three. Winning. Deep in the pocket, and he's taken down. Had a long time to throw, but eventually it broke down. And Tar Heel freshman Justin Thomason, the man who took him to the dirt. Glennon in the shotgun. Pressure coming from behind. Got it out of his hands. Deep and intercepted. Terry Schenkel picks it off. He went through the end zone. It will be a touchback, and Carolina has it first and 10. Glennon will drop straight back from under center. He's going to air it out deep. A man behind the Tar Heels is Underwood for the touchdown. Renner in all Navy, Carolina Blue in the silver helmets today. Gonna run the draw, hands off to Bernard. Bernard has the first down over the 35, all the way down to the 38. Best play in some time for the Heels, a gain of 12. Renner, play action. Now he'll dump it off to Bernard. He has a ton of room in front of him at the 30 near side of the 25. Bernard caught at the 20 by Brandon Bishop and wrestled down at the 19. Gain of 18 on the play, first down, Carolina. A.J. Blue now into the tailback spot to Renner's right. Third and six, shotgun snap. Renner, nice pocket. He'll flush it out to Blue. Blue to the 10. He's knocked down but has the first down at the six. State shows a blitz from the corner. Carolina picks it up and scores a touchdown. Renner, Tapley, end zone. Carolina now down four, 35-31. And that was a big team effort on that touchdown. State brought a corner blitz as well as an extra linebacker. Carolina picked up the blitz perfectly. Bryn Renner knew he had to get the ball out quickly. Sean Tapley wide open for the touchdown. Offset eye behind Glennon, who's under center. Play action, pressure coming. Glennon, down he goes. Kevin Rennick busted through the line and takes Glennon down at the 35. Gets the snap with three on the play clock. Pressure coming, gets a screen and it's dropped. Greasy couldn't handle it. Third and 19. Three receivers near side, one to the far. Shotgun snap. Draw handoff to Bernard. Bernard into the secondary, over the 35, down to the 40. First down, Carolina. He'll be down at the 39. 416 and counting in the ball game. Another handoff to Bernard. Right up the middle, Geo into the secondary. Geo at the 40. No, he's still going at the 30. Spins away over the 25. Bernard down to the state 23 yard line. Oh, Geo, we love you, baby. 
snap back, spot down. Kick is up, and it is good. Carolina ties the ball game with a minute 24 to go. 55 and 83. Shotgun snap to Glennon, and he's sacked. Glennon will be under center. They're going to hand it off, and Heffernan makes the tackle, and Carolina takes a timeout. 35, 35, 30 seconds left. Cariels do set up the return. Great kick by Bauman. Bernard fields it at the 26. Heading to the far side. Gio at the 35. Gio, he's at the 50. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Gio, he's going to take it for a touchdown. Are you kidding me? He can do it. Carolina, 13 seconds left. And is there anywhere you'd rather be than Keenan Stadium right now? You know, I love hearing Carolina fans talk about watching Charlie Justice play or watching Amos Lawrence play or watching Don McCauley play. I'll tell you what, all 63,000 people here today are awful lucky to have been able to say they got to see Gio Bernard play. 43-35, Bart. Squib kick, middle of the field. Coming up, Palmer picks it up. And flags down, and he lost the ball. He lost the ball. The Tar Heels say they have it, and they do. Then the one Bryn Renner is about to take. The Tar Heels jumping around on the sideline as Renner takes the knee, points to the air, and a legend is born in Chapel Hill. Larry Fedora, Gio Bernard, and the rest of the Tar Heels trailed by 10 heading into the fourth quarter and make a miraculous comeback.